Sam here. I'll be doing the video for January 7th, 2021. So in this video I'd like to show you what I think is my favorite pattern in the entire market. And we happen to see it now. Um, we started talking about it in the room um, before the Monday open, so our members are ready for it. Um, but I'd like to show it to you here. And uh, it's one of those that uh, once you see it, hopefully you can use it to make a little bit of uh, cash for yourself. So here's the pattern. So the pattern is you start with the biggest possible thing. And in this case, starting with the SPX, which is the entire stock market basically. All right, so you start with the biggest thing first and you find out what the pattern is here. And the pattern should be that it's holding at least the 21 EMA and the 21 EMA has an upward bias. So that this chart definitely qualifies. The second part of the, uh, the setup is having a squeeze. Right, so you can see here the red dots, you have the squeeze there. The squeeze just basically means that you have compression that could turn into expansion, which is, you know, as an options trader, that's what we love. Uh, so this 21 squeeze on the SPX, keep it basic, right? That's the pattern. After that, because <clears throat> most people are like, well, I'm done. After that, you go to a sector. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose a sector that I know has the pattern and it's SMH, which is the semiconductors. And we'll take a look at that one in just a second. And then lastly, after you've done the work on the SMH, you then go to a specific stock. So in this instance, let's just choose a semiconductor. Um, how about, um, I don't know, Texas Instruments, TXN. Okay. So a lot of folks will just do the work on TXN and say, okay, I'm ready to buy or not. Uh, but in reality, if you have this combination of signals, and the, the signals are pretty clear, it's the entire market, the sector, semiconductor ETF, and then the underlying. You want to have it in this order first. So let's take a quick look at uh, the ETF, which was uh, SMH. Now, the, it has already moved, right? We, were, we started talking about this on Monday well before it moved. Um, but you can see here the same dynamic, right? What are, what's the pattern that we're looking for? 21 EMA, squeeze. 21 EMA, beautiful squeeze. Beautiful move out of the squeeze, right? Huge, huge level of expansion to the upside. Okay, so this matches with, with what we saw in SPX. Now, then we drill down one more and we go to something like uh, TXN, which is Texas Instruments. Now, it doesn't matter because all the semis will have the same pattern. You could play AMD, you could play TXN, you could play Qualcomm, uh, you could play uh, LRCX, or you could just buy SMH as a, and just bet on the field. But you can see here as well, right? What are we seeing on, on TXN? The exact same pattern as everything else. Um, 21 EMA, beautiful slingshot squeeze here. So this is my favorite pattern because then you have the entire stock market, which is kind of like the ocean, uh, the sector, in this instance, uh, semiconductors, which is kind of like the part of the ocean that you're actually in, and then you have the boat, which is TXN. And everything is working together. Everything's pulling in one direction. I love the setup, and I think we continue. Now, just a little bit of, uh, you know, keeping it... Uh, relatively conservative, these are not good entry prices on any of this stuff, right? We were, we've been talking about this since Monday back when it was back here. So up here, you know, well past the upper Bollinger, above the all-time high, very far away from support, maybe not be the, may not be the best entry, but you should definitely keep this on your radar for, because if we pull back on any of these names, back to the eight and especially the 21, we've seen the dynamic around the 21, it sets up a buy. So keep it on your radar, understand this setup. Um, it is big time setup and you get to see what happened today in the entire market uh, when you have a setup this powerful. So looking for the squeeze on the SPX to continue higher, looking for that to affect sectors like semiconductors, XLC, which is communications, XLV, which is healthcare, XLI, which is industrials, and IYT, which is transports. So that's basically your entire stock market. And then from there, you go and choose the best stock within those sectors, or simply just bet on the field and buy SPY or buy any of those ETFs. So again, very, very strong bullish chart, very, very strong bullish pattern, my favorite pattern. 
Um, it's the one that you really will make the most amount of money with. Uh, but at this exact moment in time, just be prepared for a, maybe a little bit of a pullback. It seems hard to say because it seems like the market will never pull back at this point. But when you get the pullback in any of these names that we've talked about, it sets up a buy. And uh, I think we go higher here in the stock market. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed my favorite strategy, um, my favorite setup. And if you have any questions, visit us over at the simplertrading.com trading room and we'd be happy to have you there and uh, walk you through everything that we do. Cheers.